i förra avsnittet av Ocean Ave. Hey. Take a look at that. Why does this number look so familiar? What? This is Crystal Tate's number from the Sun. Why would Patterson be calling her? You know, there have been so many models who've become immortalized by the product lines they've represented. Take, for instance, uh, Isabella Rossellini or Cindy Crawford. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? I think one of the greatest faces of that era was Charlotta Erickson. Helena Rendon. What a pretty name. Thanks. So, you must be from Stockholm, too? Yeah. Didn't Alex ever mention me? No. Total screw up. Why are you so nice to me? I really like your cuisine. I like you too, Lucas. We have to face what really happened, okay? Kayla, obviously you've had some customer tonight. Why? 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 Why did she have to keep doing that? Why? into my eyes that I am real, that I will move you and show you just how beautiful you are. But then I end up acting like a little child. It makes me feel so blue. Don't think it's shining through. But I know I'm right for you. And I mean to prove it's true. I'm gonna prove it's true. Jag visste inte att du stod där. <laughs> det där lät väldigt romantiskt. Jag började skriva på den i Stockholm. Jag kunde aldrig riktigt komma förbi första versen. Mamma brukar reta mig för det. Vi kanske behöver gå igenom lite först. Kanske. Det var först när jag kom hit till Miami som, som jag fick in den rätta tjänsten. Förstår du? Mm, det gör jag. Jag brukade känna så när jag dansade. Man gör samma steg hundratals gånger och sen plötsligt så blir det mer levande bara för att man fick den här rätta känslan som infann sig. Det är det som är konst. Inte bara mekaniska steg. Du är säkert jätteduktig på att dansa. Nej, inte särskilt. Får jag fråga dig en fråga? Visst. Skriver du den där sången för någon speciell? Jag visste inte om det i början när jag började skriva låten, men det blev ju så. Och nu när du vet kan du avsluta den? Ja. Vad heter hon? Elena. <laughs> Vi dejtar. Tror jag. Man får se ut som en ledsen hund då. Mm. Det är bara det att det är... 
Det är så komplicerat bara. Jag frågar inte ens. Hallå? Hej Eva. Mm, det kan vara komplicerat. A nice coverage on the Ann autopsy results, Crystal. Thanks, Harry. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, shoot. Did you know that PI that they found drowned at the marina? Jerry Patterson? What about him? Well, Gabby and Lucas were at the PD, collecting his personal effects. Yeah, so? And they found the number of his son in his wallet. What's so strange about that? The guy's a PI. He probably calls a lot of papers. Yeah, that's what I told Gabby, but next to it was your private extension. Thank you. Morning, Macy. Yes, it is. I... I just received a call from the Miami Police Department. Seems they want me to come downtown. Would you like to guess why? To uh, make a contribution to the Policeman's Benevolent Association? No, no. Pay some long overdue parking tickets? No. I give up, Macy. Hmm. They want to question me in regards to Anne's murder. Now, you wouldn't have had anything to do with that, would you, sweetness? You know, actually, I think the business from Allure could help Devon in the long run. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. But I can't believe Catherine will sit quietly and watch another agency eat into her business. Well, hopefully she won't see it that way. <laughs> oh, good luck, my friend. Is there something else, Martin? Huh? Can I help you? Um, yeah. Tony, actually, uh, actually there is. Oh, what's that? You can tell me how things are going with Gabby Hamilton. Gabriella. Oh. She's very talented. Yes, yeah. Well, that's not what I meant. Then what? You've been working very closely with her these past few months. Very closely, yes. So, uh, tell me, do you think she could be trusted? Listen, Chrissy, about last night. Yeah. We had a great time at the party. Yeah, me too. Uh, but, uh, seriously, uh, about last night. Uh, Don't worry, okay? You're a very nice guy. And I'm totally cool with it. Did you go to the party last night? I was gonna go, but, you know, kind of over that whole mean squeeze thing. So how was it? Okay, I guess. Just okay? Yeah. Well, did you go with Alex? Yeah, look, I really don't want to talk about this right now. I can see why you wouldn't want to talk about it.
According to beauty expert, Dr. William O'Keefe. <laughs> beauty expert, please. Uh-huh, all right. He did mention me. Charlotte Erickson was one of the most exciting faces of the past era. Faces of the past? You scalded. Oh! You knew Patterson, didn't you? Yeah, okay, he was a sore from time to time. What aren't you telling me, Harry? Okay, fine, I'm gonna tell everyone where your secret stash of bourbon is. Okay, look, we were working on a case. What case? Just an ongoing thing. How ongoing? Six years, give or take. And about corruption in the police department. Yeah, and? This guy Oliver Jones was the chief of police back then. Wasn't he booted out because of some scandal? Yeah, they said he was on the take. Except some people mm -hmm. figure he was set up, maybe by one of his own. Yeah, now it's coming back. After he was forced to resign in disgrace, he started hitting the bottle. Didn't he die in a car crash? Yeah, shortly after that, DWI. People said he couldn't handle the shame and went downhill. That's when you were the desk editor, right? I was also covering the police beat. Anyway, this guy Patterson was an ex-cop. We hooked up, and he set me up with an inside source on my ID guy, and a story. It's not the end of the story, right? <laughs> what? What already? Another mur murder. There's just announced over the ra ra radio. <laughs> Jeez, it's freaking Armageddon out there. What are you waiting for, Twinkle Toes? Get on it. Oh Mindy, this is Eva. She's. Uh, Good friend from back, back home in Stockholm. Eva, this is Lindy. So how long have you guys known each other? Oh, years and years. It almost feels like forever. We were like inseparable. Really? Yeah, we used to do everything together. Everything? Mm -hmm. How interesting. Remember that skiing trip to Norway? Yeah, that was fun. Fun. We practically got stranded in a mountain cave for days. Stranded in a mountain cave? It sounds pretty cozy. Yeah, well, um, she's leaving out the fact that there was a whole ski party stranded with us. Did you guys know that Alex almost is an Olympic level skier? Do you ski, Elena? No, I don't. No? What a pity. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've noticed, but there aren't too many ski slopes here in South Florida. What you mean, there? What kind of a question is that, Martin? Huh? I hired Gabriella. Why wouldn't I trust her? Yeah, but when you hired her. You didn't know her. Now you've had some time to observe her. Martin, she's your stepdaughter. Technically, that's true. But actually, I haven't uh, seen her more than once or twice since she was a little kid. And that passage of time caused you to question her integrity. Martin, what are you really asking me? I'm just concerned about Lucas. He's, uh, he's, shall we say, gullible when it comes to women? Surely you're not suggesting that Gabriella is leading him astray. That is so preposterous. But I'm concerned that Lucas is easily influenced, especially when it comes to being a woman. Well, in that case, Gabriella could only help him. I'm just worried about this anger she has about Jack and Anne. Her mother is dead. Do you blame her? Of course not. But I don't want her directing her anger toward Devin by influencing Lucas to lose his focus. Focus? What focus? <sighs> Martin, Lucas has a good heart. But when he comes to the business, he needs very little to lose focus. 
Now, Gabriella, on the other hand, is extremely focused and responsible. Exactly my point. If she focuses on sabotaging this company, what, Gabby could use Lucas without him even being aware of it. Oh, come on, can't you see that? Gabby Hamilton has the potential of being a very dangerous person. You don't really believe that. My son missed a meeting, a very important meeting the other day. Do you know why? He was traipsing all over Miami playing private detective. And you know with whom? Who egged him on? Gabby Hamilton, that's who. And why? Because she blames me for Jack and Ann's death. Now I ask you, does that sound like a trusted, loyal employee? What the hell am I supposed to think? Exactly, are you cool with Chrissy? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I am drawing a complete blank here. Oh, that's okay. It happens. I know. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I take it personal or anything. You're not. No. Well, that's good because I mean I wouldn't want you to do that. I mean I want you to know that I really respect you. I respect you too. And last night is not going to change that. It's not. No, I promise. So, you want any breakfast? Coffee? No. No. But, Chrissy, I just don't want you to get the wrong impression. Honey, I think my impression is totally right. You do? Mm hmm. Great. Glad to hear it. I think. This is crazy. Please don't take this the wrong way. But what exactly happened last night? If I were you, Macy, I'd be a lot nicer to me. Especially with this whole investigation going on. You do happen to remember that nasty spot of blood on your shirt the night of the Millennia party, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I were you, I'd forget all about that. And if perchance you happen to mention it to someone, say a friend, say a policeman, I would very seriously consider adjusting my memory. Mm. Well, I might be inclined to do that if uh, you'd be inclined to tear up that false document you said I signed. <laughs> And what, just trust you to keep your mouth shut? I don't think so. Well, you have no other option the way I see it. Let me tell you the way I see it. There are two options. The first one, you keep your mouth shut and you get what you want, eventually. The other is you talk and you die. Now that seems pretty clear cut to me. You look a bit sallow. Get a facial. Well, we'll just see about that, won't we? I wonder what little secrets you're going to unlock. Hmm? Of all the mean, miserable, ungallant, ungentlemanly, rude, insensitive, despicable things to do, how can you do that? Glad I caught you in a good mood. Don't even go there. Would I be correct in assuming you're slightly perturbed at me? <gasps> perturbed? No, I'm not perturbed. I'm livid. No, make that furious. Who do you think you are, anyway? How can you say such horrible things about me? Uh me, especially since I have no idea what I said. Don't you play innocent with me. You know what you said. And don't put on that stupid look. I just want to know why you said it. What have I ever done to you? <laughs> Let's see. You uh, crashed into my borrowing car, um, poured a gallon of milk over my head, 
cooked me burnt Chateaubriand, which I, to avoid hurting your feelings, ate. You insult me just about every day, call me rude and sensitive, and what else is there? But other than that, you've been a real sweet. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't ever want to speak to you again, ever. Don't send me any emails because I won't read them. I'm not happy. I can't live with them here, I can't. Lucas! Lucas! It's Gabby! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I let myself in. You weren't at the office, so I wanted to come by and see if maybe you heard anything from uh, Karen. Hey, oh, I think we um, overslept. In the next episode of Ocean Avenue. Okay, so I gotta ask myself, why is a U.S. Senate hopeful, a high-end Miami businessman, a vice cop, and a shady banker hanging out with a known madam? together. Question is, how big is the picture? Look, I'm sorry if I interrupted him. No, you didn't. No, God, you didn't. Honey, we were totally finished here. All right. Okay. Later. Bye. Crystal made the connection with Jones. She's okay. <laughs> this investigation of hers could prove to be a real gift horse for us. Everyone, this is Eva. She's Alex's Friend. Welcome to Sober High. She just got here. Uh, Lenny, can you give me just a minute? Uh, I have something I, I need to say to all of you.